Okay, hello. Hello, we're playing Civilization 5. Yeah, okay, Nathan almost <laughs> forgot. We're playing 5. We've got... I think I have all the expansions, now that I think about it. And we're playing the, um... The Renaissance period scenario. Yay! Which is good. With a Byzantine Empire. I like the name Theodora. It's a good name. I think I just like it because Munich was really hot in that Wizard of Oz movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, oh, nothing. Um, anyway, we're starting. Uh, yeah. Whoa. Wow. That was immediate. I immediately met a person. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, okay. And they're gonna like describe what they did throughout this period type thing. Well, historically, yeah, dude, I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, we captured some dragons, called one Jumbly Wobbly, and <laughs> we called one uh, what was it, Chumble Wumba? Yeah, <laughs> we took him tub thumping. Uh, okay, I always automate my workers because I can't be bothered keeping track of them all. That wasn't that funny, man. <laughs> oh, that was hilarious. Oh, gosh. That's just a funny word to me. It is a funny word. I don't think there are any, um, like, barbarians to fight in this map. I'm not sure. Galatheum. Yeah. Uh, is this where people, like, try and build the same stuff you are? Yeah, this is, like, this has got special things. But no, that's just, um, a coliseum in this is just... A per city thing. Uh. Okay, but there's like a special coliseum. You're, you're disgusting. He what? put a thing in his mouth that should not have gone in his mouth. I found that in the gutter, remember? You're an idiot. Um, no. Yeah. Ah, oh, what do I want to build? Must be built in a holy city. Ooh, I'm gonna get theology. Because I'm the only person who owns a holy city at the beginning <laughs> of the game. I've got an unfair advantage. We're atheists and we have a holy city. Woo! Well, I'm not an atheist because I control a religion. <laughs> not anymore. Ah, oh, shit. How much? Hmm. Adopt. Yeah. Tradition. Liberty. Honor. Piety. Patriarch. Ooh. Yeah, what's the best thing to do here? I reckon some tradition would be nice. Yeah, that's the best early game stuff. Um, building wonders. Okay. You! Oh. Yeah. Settlers build new cities. Yep. Nathan has never played a civilization game before, so I'm gonna have to. I think I've actually might have seen one now, now that we've actually started playing it. Yeah. Um Good. can't you like build like resource centers and stuff like that? Resource centers? And like so you can learn different things? I don't know what that means. Okay. Obviously not that. Um oh, in every space you move you can actually unlock a um like shoves the clouds away. Yeah, yeah, fog of war. And um Every, like, bit of land that I own within three units of a city can be worked by a citizen inside the city. And, like, um, Istanbul, that's not how many Constantinople. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Constantinople now. This is, um, the religions in the city. Yeah. There's four for the Eastern Orthodoxy, which are r rule, and then two, like, pagans. That's what that little line you got means. Just pissant pagan people. Yeah. Nobody cares about them. Um... That's how many people there are, that's how many turns it's gonna take. They had all that star the... means it's a capital. The mm. twenty means how strong it is, and that means what it's building. Um you can build buildings over time, like change production and CSS turns. Yeah. And same with units, mm. or you can buy them. Yeah. And there are certain buildings that you can only buy with religious with faith, because that's a currency in this game. Because I think I might have played something similar to this, and it's like you can progress through time as well. Like, depending on how far you get through time, you can start developing different things. Uh, well, that's this. Like, this has eras. Oh, not this map, I think. Hmm. I actually haven't played this one before. Because then, like, you can get into like space age weaponry and stuff like that. Uh, I don't think you can get to space age in this, but there are games like that. Yeah. Yeah, in this one, like, you start off caveman level, and yeah. then you get to modern age. Adopt another policy 
What should I get? Uh, garrison units, coastal maintenance, uh, growth and food in the capital. Monarchy. Because you've got, like, a little religious city. Well, no, it's the, from the benefits you get from it. Um, okay. How many people are there? Six? <laughs> That's probably good. Yeah. Look at that. Now I have four happiness. The happier my people are, the better off I am. I don't want them to get unhappy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it just makes shit, like, get built slower, and yeah, it's... it's that's like a nightmare. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, that's not ideal. If there was land here, that would be great. Sometimes you just have to have cities overlap. There's just no way around it. Uh, I think I might have played the demo for like one of the earlier ones on the PlayStation 3. Oh, yeah? And it had this like Poindexter type guy like... Constantly tell you what to yeah. do. Yeah. In a really yeah. dopey voice. Those people are so annoying. <laughs> um... What well, will be best for you? Uh, temple? No. Colosseum. I'll start with a lighthouse. Wow. What happened there? You see that change from 44 turns to 11? <laughs> no. Oh. I'm just looking at like all the stuff around the like the HUD. Yeah. Um. That's. No science being developed, and I can change that to other things, but science is the best one. Just so I know what I'm doing. This is a unit, this is the map, this is the thing. This, you can change it to strategic view. Okay. So there's none of the flash, but you see exactly what is everywhere. Eh, I like the flash. Yeah. And, uh, social policies are probably the most important thing yeah. in all Civilization games. Actually, I can't even remember if they were before Civ 5 because I don't play any of them anymore. Okay. But, yeah, these give some pretty ridiculous bonuses if you build them up. I'm gonna have to move you... Okay, that's just river. I'm gonna move this settler down here, probably. Okay. Because there's some good salt, an oasis, sugar, some good resources. Oh, look at that. Yay! Silver. God, look at all this shit. To be able to put someone down there. Jerusalem wants Eastern Orthodoxy. Okay. Where is Jerusalem? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that's the holy. Isn't that the holy city or something? That's like oh, one no, of the not. main holy cities. It's not here, I don't think. No. Oh, it's because it's because it's important to so many religions. It doesn't count as one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Jerusalem. Um, Constantinople, uh, a lighthouse. Yeah. One of the most annoying things in this game is that, um, like, things will take a while to build. Yep. Because you've got so, by the end of it, I always end up with so many cities. <laughs> like, something big is happening every turn, so I can't oh, just wow. power through. It gets a little frustrating. Now why is those bits dark? Uh, because I can't actually, like, I've seen the area, but right. I can't actually see them with my units. Uh. Yeah. So I guess there's, like, two kinds of fog of war. Like, here, like, I don't know what the fuck is there at all. <laughs> like, there could be land, there could be ocean. Here, like, I've seen the valley, but I don't yeah. know what's in there. What how long it must take to, get, to make a game like this. Because you can't go through all yeah. bullshit. But, like... Like, maps and stuff are usually procedurally generated, so... Yeah. I'm guessing it has, like, a preset thing to work from. Yeah. I'm pretty up. Like, this map is Europe and yeah. Africa and the Middle East a bit. So, I guess they have to go through and design that, which would take a while. Yeah. But, I don't know, maybe two or three years? Like, it's not... Like, much more than any other game. Yeah. May adopt another policy. Holy oh, shit. Hmm, we're going quite well here. Yeah. God, how much fucking. 16. 17. 29 produced by cities. Oh. 8? You get free amphitheaters? That's how do I get. The fuck am I getting them from? I don't know. Um, do I have a palace? No. Huh. 
Is it a religious thing? Religion I remember. Could be. Um, plus two culture, plus one faith in temples. Where's where the array? Okay, do I have monasteries? No. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on there. Come oh, it provides a free culture building in the first four cities. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Usually it's only like a mega monument, you know? But, oh well. I mean, I'll take it. Okay. How long have we been going? Uh, this is turn 11. Oh, time-wise. Oh, huh. I forgot it. I just oh, saw, like, the time on the recorder. It's just like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but remember, we had to set up. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to build a Barrack. barracks so I can start building military units and expand more. Except MC. Russia is going to be my biggest friend in this. Because she's the only, like, Ethan or other Ether... Eastern, Eastern Orthodoxy. <laughs> Ether. Ether Orthodoxy. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, this game's got a turn limit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, like, as soon as those are up, yeah. game over? Like, we're already more than 5% of the game. <laughs> wow. But it'll once there's more cities and I can see more things happening, each turn will get longer and longer. So, as soon as they go, game over. Pretty much. Okay, this looks like a good spot for a town. Um, temple. Edbenogl. What? Adrian. Adrian, I call. I have a cousin named Adrian. <laughs> That's not important, really. But, uh, I felt like saying it. Okay, now I'm gonna build... Oof. Is there one where you just have, like, infinite turns? Oh, in the basic, in just a normal game, you can keep going forever if you want to. Oh. But, like, I mean, you run out of shit to do. Okay. Oh, and we're out of time. Yay! People with the pointy sticks. <laughs> I am almost dead last. I'm going to need to be with some soldiers. <laughs> Next <Yes>. time. <laughs> See ya. See ya.